everyone? Mark Lobiner, TigerFitness.com, on my way home from my heavyweight victory at the NPC Virginia Max Muscle, guys. I am excited, I am ecstatic, and I am not peeing that much. Um, I dried out so much that my body's retaining water. And it's actually pretty awesome because I've been peeing like every five minutes. And um, I'll tell you what, man, nothing's better than driving and getting home at a decent time because I don't have to pull over every 10 minutes to take a damn pee. Now, anyway, I'm peeing fine. It's just normal. You know, my body's holding on to a little bit of water. Um, I had a huge cheat meal last night. Check it out. Huge. I went to IHOP. You ready? You ready? It's about to get fucking sexy in here. Ready for some food porn? I had a chicken fajita omelet with egg whites. <laughs> no cheese, no sour cream. So basically chicken, eggs, and salsa. And harvest grain and nut pancakes. No butter, with sugar-free syrup, and PB2 on it. I brought my own PB2. I, uh, I, I, I'm a pro, okay? I don't crave funny food. I crave pancakes. Now, tonight, I'm living it up. I told John. John's like, eat whatever the fuck you want to eat. John was like the hot trees. He's like, eat whatever the fuck you want to eat. And I was like, you know what? I don't... I've been... My daughter and my son, we used to go out to dinner and have a good time. And I'm like, do you mind if I wait till tomorrow to have my free meal and just eat a nice healthy meal tonight? And uh, John's like, dude, yes, do your thing, dog, do your thing. But I'm going to the Texas Roadhouse, man. I'm gonna get a big juicy steak, that uh, 16 ounce sirloin. And I'm gonna get a baked potato dry and a sweet potato dry on the side. And it's gonna be fucking delicious. That's what I crave. I crave something, I crave beef, because my fat's been really low on this diet, my protein really hot, so I haven't been able to budget in beef. And um, I fucking love potatoes, man. I love them. I fucking love them. So anyway, I woke up, and last night after the IHOP meal, I had one more thing to do. We were next to Walmart. I had Van pull over. I got a little bit of Coke Zero. Because I like Coke Zero. I drink it every day. And uh, I also got blueberries, frozen blueberries. Why? I had a bowl of sludge. I had two scoops of MTS Whey with 140 grams of blueberries. So everybody else is out partying and drinking, man. I got a pro card to win, a NABA pro card in two weeks. And I just don't want, I felt great. Woke up this morning, fucked up legs. Trained the shit out of legs. Just fucked them up. Killed him. My man AI came in. Andrew led us into the gym. Gold's Jim Woodbridge. Andrew, thank you. My boy Jonathan came in. My man who works with uh, with Doug Miller. He's his intern. Doug's pulling all kind of Lewinsky's on his ass. And uh, you know what? We uh, had a good fucking training session, which will be uploaded ASAP. So let me get into some things. So today I'm eating, I have 400 grams of carbs, 240 grams of, no, 400 grams of protein, 240 grams of carbs, not including my free meal at the Roadhouse. The, the, the free meal is not in it. This is, this is without that meal. That meal is extra. So I get the 400 protein and 240 carbs and 60 fat, and I also get that extra meal at the Roadhouse. And I probably won't even hit all those macros. Um, I might be able to budget in some ice cream or something with my kids because um, because I'm driving and I'm, I'm fucking out of food. I got some tuna packets, but what the fuck? How many tuna packets can you fucking eat? <sighs> all right. I'm gonna address a topic. My buddy Jordan, I'm not gonna say his last name, but that's his real first name. So you know I'm answering your question, Jordan. He's 15 years old. He said, he wrote me an email. I have talked to him on email before. I don't give him advice because I, I don't advise. If you're under 18 and you email me, you're gonna hate me because I cannot give you any advice because it is a liability and I know a lot of companies that have had issues because they've advised teenagers. Teenager goes out and misconstrues it, does something stupid, and they get their asses sued off. I got too much to lose, guys. And he 
wants to know what kind of show he can compete at. Now, in the ANBF, I'm the vice president of it, the American Natural Bodybuilding Federation, we do have a teen division. And I accept teens, and teens will be at my competition, I hope. Um, but, on a personal level, um, I'm gonna, you know what, Jason Blaha is one smart motherfucker. We actually spoke about this. Ice Cream Fitness, youtube.com slash ice cream fitness, one word. Jason Blaha. Jason, if you're listening to you, to me, comment in the section and say what's up, all right? My British player. Jason is an expert on steroids, hormones, and everything else. Jason is a science motherfucker. Me, I'm part science, part bro. I'm a hybrid. I'm a fucking machine. Jason's theory, and this is by anecdote, teenagers, meaning if you're under, let's say, arbitrary age of 21, because there's no data on this, I've known a lot of teenagers, and so does Jason, who've dieted down to show, show competition levels and stay lean, and their dick don't work, man, they can't get hard-ons. Um, when you're that young, you're developing a lot of things. And one thing is your hormones. I like to make the whores moan. All right, so you're developing your hormones, right? Now, when you diet down to contest levels, whatever age you are, your hormones are gonna get fucked up. That's why I actually have the theory that natural bodybuilding is more hormonally unhealthy than HRT or enhanced bodybuilding. And uh, people argue with me on that one all day, but there's a lot of hormones that get affected by testosterone and other hormones when you're when you're really really lean. So Jordan, you say you're five percent year round. I, I I don't know if you are. I know very few fifteen year olds who are legit five percent. If you are, eat something. If my son came to me and said he wanted to compete as a teenager, I'd uh, I'd tell him no. Until he's eighteen, he's not allowed to step on stage. Um, because there's a lot of things developing. Also, in that age. Your fucking balls are on fire, man. Your balls are producing shit. Man, I wish wish my balls still worked, man. Ugh. Your balls are just rocking it, right? And uh, you're making gains. You can build a hell of a base. That's why Jason Blaha, I, I believe he does, I do. I like when teenagers do like a, a full body, three to four time a week split or an upper lower split and just really take advantage of their hormones and their, their protein synthesis levels. And, and I mean, build that base. When I was a teenager, I played football. And uh, we focused on, I wasn't a bencher. And even though, you know, my chest is, here you go guys, I got a lot of comments that you wanted the peck pop of love from guys. Ladies, if you want to see the peck pop of love, please comment below, all two of you who watch me. Anyway, um, you know, so uh, here's the deal. I was focused on powerlifting, Olympic lifting, and benching, and I built a fucking hell of a base. And I credit those years with a lot of what I have now, especially my chest. Now, when you diet, you're literally stopping growth. You're halting it. And in my opinion, you have that age of like 14 to 20, where you're a fucking man and a half, and you can just produce test and make gains. And that's where I say, no contest prep for you, Jordan. If you're asking my opinion, what show should you compete in? ANBF. We have plenty of them. We got them in California, Orange County on November 23rd. We got it in North Carolina on November 9th, May 11th in New Jersey. Another one in New Jersey. We got them in Florida. We got them in Pennsylvania. Working on one in Ohio. We got like nine shows. And it's a fairly judged show, unlike the NPC. Just playing. Nah, fuck it. The NPC's crooked as fuck. Y'all some crooked motherfuckers. That's why I never win. Anyway, I won my class. I'm good. They couldn't deny me that. Um, here's the deal. You know what? Don't do it. Don't get on stage.
stage yet. Wait till you're in your 20s and your balls have leveled off and you made some gains. Get your body fat up to a comfortable uh, 7 to 10 percent level. You'll still have abs. And, uh, and enjoy being strong, big, and enjoy having abs at that body fat and getting all the ladies and making all kinds of gains. So that's my answer, Jordan. Enjoy being a teenager. Look, contest prep is fucked up, man. I mean, it's easy for me for some reason because I'm a fucking idiot. I mean, I'm the machine. You know, it, it's, it, the nickname is kind of fitting because nothing really affects me. But, you know, um, to think that it's a good idea at that age to compete, I'm going to say no. And I'm going to say as a father, as an old white dude in a suit, um, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. All right? Just, just wait. It'll be worth the wait, Jordan. It'll be worth the wait. And you'll make games. What is, there, what is there to win? What's I mean, just go out and get girls, man. You're a teenager. When I was 15, I was focused on football and girls. All right? That's what you need to focus on. Not getting on stage and dancing around in a speedo. Use your muscle for something else. Wrestle or play football or something. All right? Be a kid. Bodybuilding is not a kid sport. It's an adult sport. All right? But train. I mean, if you enjoy it, train. Look good. Be healthy. Eat sweet potatoes. Also like to address because I'm bored as fuck sitting in this car. I would also like to address people saying my suit didn't fit in my Fast 55 video. Of course it didn't fit. I bought that shit 12 years ago when I worked at Weeder. And actually, probably more than 12 years ago. I bought that thing when I was 19 years old. 13 years, th almost 14, 13 years ago, 13 years ago, I have not bought a suit since. I have a couple that are from when I was like a lightweight, and uh, I worked at, when I was uh, when I was a model and I worked at Instone, um, when we launched that company, because I needed it for parties, but that, that suit has weathered the test of time, and I probably won't wear it again for another three years. I was excited it fit, because it saved me $350 to buy a new suit or whatever the fuck suits cost now. I'll get my shit from Target or Walmart or something. I don't give a fuck. Burlington Coke Factory by my house. So that's the reason it didn't fit. Because I don't wear suits. And I was about to throw cash. And honestly, it didn't fit perfectly. But you know what? I didn't wear the suit. The suit wore me. And remember, the suit doesn't make the man, the man makes the suit. And remember, don't eat yellow snow. That's it. That's all I got for today, kids. I appreciate it. Oh, the video of my show, I have um, the pose down and all that shit. Um, I'm going to try and get it up tomorrow or Tuesday. I would like to get up my training from last week. Um, I got the uh, back workout up today. I got a leg workout ready to go on this thing that I'm going to get up today. I got this I'm getting up today. And um, then I have the shoulder and arm depletion workout I'm going to get up. So probably Tuesday I'll have the contest stuff, all right? So uh, I, I, I have a lot of shit to do, a lot of catch up to do. I missed sa I missed uh, part of Friday. I worked all day Saturday after prejudging. But guys, I'm only one dude. I'm a one man wrecking crew and I don't got time to sit here. I don't make money on YouTube. That's not my fucking focus, man. My focus is you as a customer at TigerFitness.com. Man, this is gonna be like a 400 fucking minute video, so I need to call this a day. I'm almost home. I'm gonna go hug my kids. I'm so cute. I'm excited to see my family. I've been driving like 80, hoping no one pulls me over. Um, <laughs> nah, this has been such a blessing. I, I, I am so. Please, oh, by the way, every night we give away free shit on the Tiger Fitness fan page on Facebook. Like it and check it around like 4 to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every night. And we give away, we gave away iron grips every night last week, iron bull grips. We're giving away next week, um, we're giving away something really fucking cool. But we're giving something away. So, uh, just, just, just realize that, uh, that go to 
Facebook.com slash Tiger Fitness Online. Like that shit and check it every night. Every night between 4 and 8 and then check if you won the next day. All you gotta do is like the post and share it. Please share it because it helps me get more likes and, um, and you'll be good to go. So like my shit, facebook.com slash Tiger Fitness Online. Facebook.com slash Tiger Fitness Online. Free shit every single night. I'm only getting like 300 likes on those free shit giveaways. I got like 50 something thousand subscribers here. Y'all don't want free shit? All right, thank you so much for following my journey. The journey's just begun and it's never gonna end. I'm gonna be a part of your life for the rest of your life. I am going to be that guy. I want to be a part of your life. I want to help make a difference in your life and I want to entertain you. And if you have any questions, email me at mark, M-A-R-C, at tigerfitness.com and my cell phone number. Call me, don't text me. If you need to ask me a question, you need to talk to me. 818-554-8771. Once again, 818-554-8771. Don't text me to see if it's my real number. It is my real number. And uh, please, if, you, if you're going to prank call me, make it funny. Because the last guy that prank called me really wasn't fucking funny. And I was kind of rude. I'm like, dude, that was the fucking lamest prank call ever, bro. All right? Don't tase me, bro. I got to drive home. I got about another hour, hour and a half left. I've been making record time because my bladder's actually working. My kidneys are functioning normally, which means they're not peeing every five minutes. And, um, man, frequent urination. It's not a game! American, you and you did the